Hi and welcome to Zwift, my name is Dave Owen. I'm going to be taking you through how to use the basic buttons on your keyboard to get the best out of Zwift. First things first, before we start hitting the buttons on the keyboard, make sure all the devices are paired you need paired. It may seem pretty straightforward, but if you're using heart rate monitor and cadence as well as a smart trainer, get all three paired and unpair things that shouldn't be paired if there's a conflict between having a trainer and a smart sensor. So I'm just pairing my cadence on that one. So there I am using a Cyclops Powerbeam Pro, which is pretty awesome. It's the Ant Plus, which is supported. The BLE isn't. Right, I'm just going to just ride here rather than joining in behind somebody else. It's what I personally prefer doing, just starting on the course just before the start line. First thing you're going to find about it here is a new feature on the new version of Zwift. And this is the Zwift Donut. Just press the down arrow and you'll swap directions on the course. Here he goes. And I'll press it again. And you can see as I'm turning, you can see who's on the course going in which particular direction. <laughs> Fantastic. So you can use that for hill sprints, all that sort of stuff. Um, here we go now. I'm going to show you now off the Zwift app. I'm going to press the wave and give people a wave. I'm going to press elbow flick, which is useful in through and off if you want somebody else to come and do an effort. Um, and then I'm going to use the number buttons for doing different views. So the number buttons on your keyboard. Um, for example, if you use button one, it gives you this view here. Button two, we'll see in a second, that's that one when you're going a bit closer. Button three, my favorite. Button four, number five, number six, number seven. Number eight, number nine, and zero. And you press zero again when you're in a view. For example, that's one view with zero, pulls out a little bit. Uh, I'll go back to three. Now, what you can do here, just top left, you can see that feather. I've passed the line, so it's given me a reward. Any one of a number we can cover on a different video. But to activate those rewards, in this case, once you start hitting a hill, you want to make yourself a little bit lighter to get a bit more speed, just hit the spacebar button and the reward is activated. Um, there's one of the virtual characters going past me and burning me off. Next thing you'll need to know about is group text. You access that via on the app or via the letter M. And there it is, just type away. And you can put morning, for example, send a nice little message on there, just past a Westworld. Good morning to you. And there you go. So you can do that, have chats with people, keep it nice and social. If you're used to using Virtual Trainer and products like that, miles better. You can see there's my featherweight's been activated by pressing the space bar, as I mentioned before. And that's it. That's all you really need to know for basic controls on Zwift. Have fun. And if there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. And I'll put all the rest of the controls, including how to use the keyboard instead of the app, in the notes below. Cheers. Enjoy Zwift. It's fantastic. Bye now.